I'm Dr. Anant Raman, consultant endocrinologist at Magna Clinic for Obesity, Diabetes and Endocrinology, VTM Second Stage, Bangalore. TBI or traumatic brain injury refers to the consequences of a major uh, injury to the brain or skull. So it typically happens after road traffic accidents or falls on the head, etc. So we all associate uh, head injury with uh, only neurological dysfunction or a brain dysfunction. You may not be able to see here or uh, you know you may have reduced uh, uh, muscle power, difficulty walking, etc. But uh, what is not well appreciated is that uh, uh, following a head injury, you could have uh, injury of the pituitary gland as well. After all, pituitary gland is closely linked to the brain. It is actually uh, it actually hangs like a small fruit at the base of the brain actually and it is connected by to the neurological structures in the brain itself and uh, any injury which causes concussion of more than 30 minutes duration uh, or it or whatever that causes a fracture to the skull can cause a permanent damage to the pituitary gland which may never recover really because there is a blood clot sitting within the pituitary or a damage to the pituitary consequent to that what happens is that uh, you can have a low level of testosterone. The low level of testosterone is because the gonadotropin or the uh, uh, testosterone producing hormone, the LH, the uh, luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone which are usually produced in the pituitary are actually reduced uh, in quantity following a injury to the pituitary. So anyone who has a low sex drive following a traumatic brain injury must have their testosterone level tested and in addition they also should uh, get all their uh, hormones tested like uh, thyroid hormone and cortisol.